going to look at how to steam a small tapestry. Several of you have been asking me about this in um, my online classes. So I have finished the backs of these tapestries the way that I want them. And now I need to add some steam. I still need to trim the edges of the uh, tails of that on that one. But the rest of these are all finished. And I use a Jiffy steamer, which is a pretty nice steamer. You don't need one that costs as much as the Jiffy steamer. Any closed steamer will work as long as it has a wand that you can put the tapestries flat. You don't want the kind of steamer that can only be used with, um, that's for clothes that are hanging up. So the Jiffy steamer works great for this. It is quite hot, you wanna be careful. Um, you do not wanna steam this on a plastic table, for example. This is a big floor tile that I often use to steam small tapestries. Uh, you could use your kitchen counter or if you have some kind of a glass table or something that can take the heat and moisture of the steamer. Just be careful that you don't ruin the surface that you are steaming on. So let's uh, turn the steamer on and we will start with Let's start with these little guys. Um, these were fringeless four salvage pieces that I did for one of the um, Design Solutions classes, Design Solutions 2, I think. When the steamer is hot, you will see steam coming out of it. And you wanna be careful not to burn yourself. So don't put a finger here and then the steamer on top. If you need to hold something down, you can use something that will keep your hand away from the tapestry. I get my little tapestries quite wet when I steam, um, hot and wet, and I'm allowing the warp and the weft to shrink a little bit. Tightens everything up and makes the tapestries nice and flat. You could also do this with a steam iron. Um, if you have a good steam iron, turn the steam way up and maybe use a damp pressing cloth. I'm actually touching the steamer too lightly to the um, tapestry. You can also hover it right above. You'll get the same effect. You don't want to push down into the tapestry as you do it. Let's do the other one. Just allowing things to shrink a little bit and flatten out. They get pretty wet, so then I let them sit overnight on the flat surface. Sometimes the fringeless pieces will have a little tiny curl to them like this. In that case, I often will wipe the water off and then this is quite wet. I'll use a book or something that, um, sometimes I'll put a piece of plastic over the pieces and then a book on top and just let that sit for a couple hours. It'll um, let the pieces get nice and flat and then I'll take the book off and let them uh, just dry. Let's just show you a couple more. This one is quite wrinkly, another fringeless for salvage piece. So I may need my little stick to try to get those edges uncurled. This is what I'm hoping the steamer will do for me is get the tapestry to flatten out. And indeed, it is going to do that. Steaming can be kind of magical. If you wanna steam a particular part a little bit more, like this is a little bit wider here, you can do that. Uh, try to get that to shrink a little bit more. The warp direction, of course, shrinks more than the weft direction. So you may not be successful and you can only fix minor issues with steaming. It's not a complete miracle, but some areas that are already pretty flat, I might not steam quite as much. That looks pretty good. And I'll just let that dry. Let's look at our little gnome. 
he already looks quite good so I might just do a little give him a little light sometimes I mean if the tapestry already looks great you know don't mess with it too much and then this one is a sample for the tapestry discovery box it's long enough I can just hold the I, it looks like I have used up all my water. You can see I've lost most of the steam there, so I need to add some more distilled water to my steamer to finish this little steaming thing up. And then I'll just let them all dry flat. And uh, tomorrow they'll be completely dry and I can mount them or whatever else I want to do. In this clip, I'm steaming the hot flash tapestry. This tapestry is about 10 inches square. I just wanted to give you an idea in real time about how much steam I'm giving a piece like this.